I haven't been out here for um, 24 hours. Um, well, that's not true, actually, just under 24 hours. I was out here at about midnight last night on the Bobcat, but um, unfortunately, I think I just got a whole lot of dust inside and a bit hay feverish, etc. And um, uh, today was a bit of a nothing day for me, but uh, fortunately, it wasn't a nothing day for everybody, everybody else on the planet here. Um, uh, I could, uh, well I did get out here a couple of times because we had to have a look at a, a tree right over in the far side, I got hit by a truck so um, that's been rebirthed and um, uh, hopefully uh, we'll, uh, we'll make it through this um, huge experiment. <laughs> but it's um, starting to, um, to get a lot of the sort of piles of stuff now where things are, um, are finding their, their place and um, the guys have actually, it's probably hard to see but uh, they've actually done a lot today, uh, getting a lot of this ground levelled up and getting the levels right, um, you know, as much as we want to get one flat level, uh, the kennels at the end here sort of dictate a little bit um, in regards to, uh, there'll be sort of, have to be two levels, but a bit of a step down, but the way they're coping with it, uh, it's coming up pretty well, it's um, not too bad at all, and uh, a bit, bit more of a rejig and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see where we, you know, where we end up. But um, uh, there's um, concrete basically going to be going. There's Willow, my horse. Hello, Willow. Yep. <laughs> um, as you can see, uh, and this is primarily for the uh, the dog kennel areas through here. So basically, that goes right through to the end there. It's going to be quite a large pour. Uh, I think they might do it in two pours, I think. I'm not sure. But um, that's... Um, that's the deal, um, and as you can see, we've we've had to build up quite a bit um, on the banks over here uh, to get this flat surface. I just heard a bit of thunder. Then <laughs> we probably don't need huge amounts of rain. A mate of mine, uh, Steve VK3YW, just got uh, a whole stack of rain uh, down at um, Bonnie Dune. Yep, there really is a Bonnie Dune. Um, filled up one of his towel holes that he was getting ready for. It's a bit of a talk about a rejig there, and if we got the same amount of rain, I can tell you, it'd uh, it'd make life um, a little bit painful. But um, anyway, we'll uh, we'll just keep on uh, powering on. We're just having a bit of a look at this edge here, where we're going to need to put a whole stack of rocks and bits and uh, the support. Uh, fortunately, I have a mate <laughs> who has a lot of rocks, so we just got to get them from point A to point B. Uh, and we're also going to do a um, even though we've done a bit of a cross over here for the moment, we're putting in pipes all the way down uh, from the top here. A lot of the water comes down um, and feeds feeds the dam down here. Uh, so um, we'll um, we had a trench in here before, but we'll just dig that out and uh, run pipes down, and it'll just make the area a bit more serviceable too. So, but um, yeah, so that's sort of how it's all coming up. I just thought I'd whip out here for a couple of minutes and haven't really seen much today. I um, I know they were busy though, that's for sure. And as you can see, it's looking extremely different to um, what we saw a few days ago, and a long way to go yet, but it's still, you know, sort of happening slowly but surely. All right, I'm gonna go blow my nose. I'm still, I think I'm still blowing out sand and dirt from last night. Um, but uh, I should have put a mask on when I was on the bobcat. There's dust that was coming up everywhere, and unfortunately, I'm a bit allergic to dust these days, it's getting old. Anyway. All right, well, that's pretty much what we're up to. And my horses are grabbing whatever grass they can that's left in this area. I don't think it's gonna take long to grow, you know, grass and um, get everything back together. You know, we're certainly entering the right season for it. Another month and things will start to grow okay. So we'll um, certainly be happier to, to see that happening. Hey Willow, what you doing? I'm taking pictures of you. Yeah, I think this weather's going to change though. I think Steve's onto something. There's, there's definitely something happening in the weather. The, the wind's coming up and the trees are, you can just see starting to, yeah. Actually, it's been good. We've saved, uh, speaking of trees, uh, we've saved a few. Um, you know, look, it's hard when you, I, I know from experience, with, you know, my own bobcat over here, you know, look, I back into things all the time. I just constantly do. And these guys have really done well. Um, the concrete, um, oh, someone, uh, sorry, was bringing mesh in today. Uh, just tried to get out on a tight angle, and as well, we've had to put some stuff around this tree over the far end there. But uh, 
which is a pain because there are a whole lot of pears where we've got 12 pears which are all uh, these pear trees which are all bought at the same time all grown you know sort of um, and uh, can you imagine trying to replace one it'd be oh, not good very hard well it just it would equal thousands and thousands of dollars to get something grown same sort of size now so anyway hopefully that one survives all right well all the fences are down everything's sort of clearing out all the old dog kennels are going they've all been uh, I think Sam donated a whole stack of these to Coryong um, in a bit of a deal uh, for the uh, uh, things going on up there so that's been great and oh we're going to move this uh, shade house too we're going to move that um, over the other side that direction I want to get that out of here uh, it was always a bit of a temporary thing we did so we'll get that moved over all right all the best see you later cheers